and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm going to be making a goat milk coffee soap and I love doing this. I'm in the middle of hot summer right now but fall is coming. I keep telling myself that when we have these roasty days here in middle Tennessee. Whew, it's hot and humid but I'm thinking about fall so I'm going to get my coffee soaps going right now. Um, so for the fragrance I'm actually going to do a combination. I have this let me tell you it's wonderful. Mint chocolate from Nurture, hello. If you like chocolate, mm, do yourself a favor and get some of this. But to this, I'm going to be adding fresh brewed coffee from Be Scented. So we'll do a, cop a combination, sort of a mocha latte sort of a theme is what I'm thinking, because yum, okay? <laughs> but both of these are gonna discolor to um, a brownish color. Let me see, this one says no acceleration, dark brown on the chocolate mint, and this one says a brown. So we're just gonna roll with it. It's a coffee soap. I will be putting some uh, coffee grounds. I like to use used brewed coffee grounds because I feel like they, um, they don't bleed the color and they're just a little softer exfoliant. So it's gently exfoliating. But I'm gonna go ahead and also add cappuccino mica from Brambleberry just so I get a nice even coloring on it because sometimes when you have discoloring fragrances, it can be mottly looking. So we're just gonna roll with the coffee theme. Cappuccino mica is going in there too. Again, this will be a goat milk soap because I thought cream in your coffee. I know I like cream in my coffee. Uh, I'm gonna get everything pulled together and get my hair pulled back. And I will probably save off just a portion of the soap batter unscented so that I can have a nice frothy white top. That's kind of what's in my mind for this bar. So. Again, I'll get all my prep work done and let's come back and make some yummy coffee-inspired goat milk soap. All right, I'm back and I've got all my oils here melted up and ready to go. And so I've got a few things that I'm gonna do before um, I add my goat milk lye solution. And that is I'm gonna add my things that I want in everything, uh, including the little frothy top and the base. So I want my kale and clay here that I'm gonna put, this is my two tablespoon scoop of kale and clay, and I'll put that in there. And my colloidal oats, two tablespoon scoop of those. And even though this is a goat milk soap, I just wanted to bring the creaminess of it right over the top, and so I'm gonna put heavy cream powder in here, because um, we're doing a foodie theme and all that, and. Uh, you know, can you really have too much luxury in here? I don't think so. So this is a little teaspoon, and I'm gonna do two really rounded teaspoons. So it's probably about a tablespoon is what it'll come out to. So that is gonna be in everything. Um, and then once I split off my little top portion after we add the lye, I'll go ahead and add the rest of my things. Let me just tell you, uh, in the intro, I said I was gonna use the cappuccino mica. I will still use a little bit of this um, I have my brewed coffee grounds that are going to go in there, but I also am going to be adding, because this is a mocha latte, some organic cacao powder, because I thought, well, it's brown, and it's going to go with the mocha theme, it's foody, so this is also going to go in the coffee portion of this soap. So that's just some of the goodness. I'm going to get this blended in and let it sort of absorb in here, and then we'll come back with our goat milk lye solution and get moving forward. Got my goat milk lye solution here, which has um, I dissolved cane sugar in a little bit of distilled water before I put in my goat milk. So just a little bit, a couple ounces. So it's got cane sugar, sodium lactate, and tussa silk fibers is in with the goat milk. Um, and I did add a teaspoon of titanium dioxide in here as well because these fragrances are gonna darken up anyway, and I'm adding the browns and the cocoa powder, cacao powder, um, and everything. I just wanted it to, I wanted the coffee grounds to show up. I didn't want it to turn black. And that mint chocolate from Nurture smells divine, but it does dis discolor to a very dark brown. So I don't think that the TD in here is gonna you know, bring it down to a light color at all. It's gonna still be very brown, but I'm hoping that it will be light enough that you'll see the co uh, coffee ground specks in there. I want those to show up a little bit. So, all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hand stir this to emulsion, and then I'll pour off my little frothy white top before I add the fragrance. 
so then I won't have to worry about that discoloring or anything. And it's just going to be a little, so it won't affect the overall scent of the bar, I don't think. There we go. And we'll hand stir this to emulsion here. And oh my, look at that creamy goodness. I have the um, coffee and mint chocolate scent here off to the side. <laughs> my soap studio smells amazing right now, <laughs> I just got to say. And I did a 50-50 blend of the fresh brewed coffee from Be Scented and the mint chocolate from Nurture. So together, holy cow, they smell great. All right, let's see. We have emulsion, so I'll pull over my little topping container here. And just pour off a little for our little frothy top. Let's see, that should be good. And I'll set that off to the side. And now let's get to the good stuff. So here is my brewed coffee grounds. I had my morning coffee. This is an espresso blend. And I'm going to put a couple tablespoons of that in here. And I like to use, oops, sorry about that noise. Boy, that was like fingers on a chalkboard. Sorry. Um, I like to use brewed coffee grounds. Ugh. I don't like that sound. <laughs> anyway, um, because I feel like they are not as sharp of an exfoliant and they won't bleed the color. Um, I feel like it's a smoother uh, feel in the bar to use brewed grounds. So that's why I do that. So there's the grounds in. So now here's my wonderful organic cacao powder. Um, let me see, I've got this little baby spoon here. And it's about a teaspoon, so we'll do one. And let's do two big old heaping teaspoons there. And now my cappuccino mica from Brambleberry, and it's got a little bit of sparkle to it. It's so pretty. All right, got those in there. And let's go ahead and add in our delicious blend of fragrance. And you can see even the fragrance oil is dark, so it's a it's gonna discolor to a nice brown I'm hoping. Oh man that smells good. I sure wish you all could be here with me. I'm going to pull this out and give it a quick stick blend um, just so I get those really well and incorporated in there. Get all the powders down in here. So stir and pulse with the blender. There we go. And everything's looking great, so I'm just gonna keep blending this till I get a nice, you know, medium trace on it before we get it in the mold. And also, I like a medium trace because I definitely want those coffee grounds to be suspended in the batter. I don't want them to all sink to the bottom, so that's another good reason to keep blending till you get a good trace. All right, it's got a beautiful, nice, light to medium trace. So we'll get this out and get it poured into the mold. And here's our little unscented saved off top. This is my premixed titanium dioxide here. Got a little couple of marbles in here. And I'm just gonna give another squeeze because I want it to be nice and you know creamy white.
It's been 24 hours since we made this wonderful mocha mint latte soap. So let's get in here and see. There's not a lot going on, just the bottom part and the top part, but uh, it smells, whoops, it smells fantastic today. So, and I'm not gonna steam the top because I think that the creamy peaks look good just the way they are. So we're gonna keep it just the way it is today. Um, on the top here, I just sprinkled some espresso ground uh, coffee that wasn't brewed, dry dry coffee, and it bled just a little, but I kind of like how that looks. So that was just um, dry coffee grounds on top. And then of course I used the, the wet brewed grounds on the inside. So. Very pretty color. and. Uh, this, this will probably just color more than that too as we go, but let's get the log split here. And you can see just a teeny little bit of a rim, so it is going to discolor if you can see that around the side, but I love it. That's going to be a great color for this for this soap. All right, let's slice into these wonderful coffee-inspired soaps. They smell really good today. So when I did the um not a lot going on just a really pretty and the scent and the ingredients are what is the big feature on this soap but when i did the little um chopstick i tried to pull down dip into the brown and drag it up but i think it was just too thick it didn't really drag up because I, I didn't really want a straight line but um i like how it came out that's cute and the coffee grounds were suspended really nice and evenly very very happy with these